What would you do if you were China? What would you do if you were one of these many terrorist organizations who, by the way, are all joining forces against a common enemy? You know who that common enemy is? For those us. listening, we're us. the f-ing common us. enemy. Good job. Yep. Good f-ing job letting this shit happen. The border. I might take you down there. I would love to go down there. Let's go. <laughs> it is insanity. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. It's hard to believe. It's very hard to believe. When you see numbers, when you see like 300,000 people a month, the Super Bowl had 60,000 people in it. Right? This mm-hmm. last couple of days ago. Yeah. 60,000 people. Then you multiply that to 300,000 come across in a month. One month. Five times the Super Bowl crossing our border, military age men from every single one of our enemies, state actors moving their people across our open border, Chinese, Russian, terrorists. See, this is multi time felons. This is where I get into this is what really, I mean, everything else that's gone on, all of it, the Afghan withdrawal. Ukraine, Russia is like it, Epstein, like all of it, dude, all of it. This shit, when I just asked you, do you think we're in a failed state? I don't know how you can answer that question and say no. Because we have become so fucking incompetent in this country. I don't, I don't understand how we could not be defeated. It it would have to be a nation that is more incompetent than we are. And that's fucking hard to find right now. That is really hard to find. We don't have a fucking border. We are the only free country left in the world, supposedly free, right? Yeah. And we have a wide open border that roughly, what, last thing I read, six million plus people have crossed. We are broke. We are printing our money. We have weaponized our dollar. We have have destroyed the First Amendment by tax corporations. It's it's fake money. It's, I mean, in, in, how could we possibly not already be defeated? That's a real fucking question. Yeah. Um, What would you do if you were Russia? What would you do if you were China? What would you do if you were one of these many terrorist organizations who, by the way, are all joining forces against a common enemy? You know who that common enemy is? For those listening, we're the fucking common enemy. Good job. Good fucking job letting this shit happen. I wouldn't have to do anything. I would continue to stoke and stalk the flames and fires of dissent, um, of racism, of every form and fashion of divisive issue that Americans have right now to conf- to, conf- to confuse and divide us further. Mm-hmm. Um, I would throw all of my money into TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat to make these kids sit there on those phones for as long as I could, which they are. I would show them that the nuclear family is not necessary, that freedom isn't really a thing that's given by God, but something that's given to us by the family or by the government, which is another thing that they're paying for us to see on our phones often. I would uh, would finance and support uh, political opponents that would um, want to fight American values and put in other forms of governance that are wholly against the American ideals and the founding fathers would have imagined. I would uh, try to support the expansion of the federal government. These are all the things that I would do if I was the Mm -hmm. adversary. And that's what they're doing. They don't have to do anything. They just sit back and hang out and watch us just eat ourselves. That's That's what I'm getting at. You know, we, we, I just... I don't know how we pull out of this. I don't know 
I mean, we talked about we talked about at the beginning before the cameras got sh- turned on. You know, people were, people think something people thought something was going to happen at the Super Bowl. People think, you know, how how come nothing's happened yet? You hear one side of the aisle mocking people that are concerned that our borders wide open, and 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 mocking them because nothing's happened yet. We've had we've had three years where there's not been any terrorist attack. Well, let me tell you about war games and simulations. They inject, they put, they put these things through a simulation. It shows the probability and the percentage that they're going to have to come out on top. What's, you know, maybe today they have a 65%. This is hypothetical. Maybe, maybe today in the simulation, they, 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 they feed it all the information and the simulation says, Hey, you got a 65% chance you're going to come out on top against the U.S. Yeah. But right now, we are a failed state. We are completely incompetent. And so why would they take that time to attack us right now? Why wouldn't they up the percentage? Okay, well, let's, let's, let's put a little bit pe- more people in this way, put them up in this region. Let's, get the, let's, let's infiltrate the power grid over here. It's weak. Yeah. There's no, there, you can't even arrest an immigrant right now. <laughs> Even in this state, a in multi-time Tennessee, felon. Yeah, exactly. And so, it's all they're doing right right now is strategy. Yeah. They're just infiltrating, doing whatever they need to do to get that percentage up. And then when somebody strong comes in and the shit starts to get cleaned up, that's when it's going to happen. Yeah. So how do you fight that? Um. I argue, you know, for the Titanic, which was headed towards that iceberg, had they known and they just made a slight adjustment, just a couple of degrees, they would have avoided that whole entire iceberg, mm-hmm. right? No, none of those people. Is that is that what we need to do? Just the the slightest of adjustments? Does that pendulum need to swing back once again towards sovereignty and freedom? You know, the um, the the founding of Apogee, our school, was in that same vein. The founding of Save Our Allies, the founding of Sheepdog Response, like all of these things. All it takes is this entrepreneurial American spirit for we as a collective to be like, man, we acknowledge that this is not right and this is dangerous, and for us to combat, for us to have a strong America again, is for the individual to be a strong, competent, capable individual. Right, not to be fat, not to be this gelatinous mass that can barely read, that just sits there and swipes on their phone and looks at porn all day long. Doesn't know how to use a rifle. Doesn't know how to purify water. Doesn't know how to be a, a, an intentional, disciplined parent to their to their children or a, a, a loyal entrepreneur that's going to be dedicated to his employees and his colleagues and his partners and the companies. Like this is when you look at the founding fathers, when you read that beautiful declaration, dec- declaration of independence and the bill of rights, like these, these were written by Americans that stood on the core values of what it meant to be an American. They were not educated at some Ivy league university, but they wrote a document that will stand the test of time. And God, I need Americans to recognize how vulnerable we are. Everything that you just said right now can be fixed. We adjust just a couple of degrees and people take back their sovereignty. They start growing their own food. They start having their own chickens. They start getting strong in body and in mind. They're, they are an ungovernable force. The Americans, the essence of being an American is ungovernable. We are, rebel, we are rebellious uh, traitors from our origin. Let's remember what that looked like. Mm-hmm. They told us to do something. We said no, and we put their tea in the harbor. Then they went to Boston, and that shot that was heard around the world kicked off us killing every single one of them and kicking them off of this continent. That is what Americans can do. Hey, everybody. I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.